Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today, Max and I are both independently going to do a ride review video for the all-new Shoei X15 helmet. Okay, so in this video, you're going to hear from myself and my son, Max. Both of us have ridden in the Show EX15 now. My experience is limited to the three days at Barber Motorsports Park with our friends from Sport Bike Track Time about a month ago. So I got three good days of riding in it, which is plenty considering, you know, over the last 18 years that we've been in business, I've ridden in and owned pretty much every premium full face helmet in the category. Max has ridden in the X-15 since the fall of last year, so the final Moto America round he was in it, and I think he went down for the weird GNF he was wearing it. He wore it at Barber while him and I were down there, and then for the opening round of Moto America at Road Atlanta last weekend, he rode in it quite a bit. He is going to primarily be benchmarking this against the X-14, which he has a lot of experience in, and then previous to that, he rode in the Arai helmets. Let me just start by saying this is a showy. This is the new flagship showy. It does not disappoint. I love the way the helmet fits. It's a little, little more comfortable than the X14. The X14 is really good there, so the move forward was slight, but it was notable. Comparing this directly to the X14, the areas where it really improved, the field of vision is simply bigger on this helmet. It's bigger peripheral and it is also bigger in that upper field of vision which is so critical when you're riding on the racetrack. It's five millimeters more open in that area than the X14 and I was happy with that one. I'm ecstatic with this one. This helmet also offers a feature where you adjust the cheek pads just a little bit and it allows you to gain another four degrees of uh, field of vision in that upper area. I did that and it was, it was notable, right? I mean, it's not a tremendous amount, but if you're somebody who, based on the way the helmet fits you, need a little bit more there, you have that option to go ahead and do that, and I think it's worthwhile. Ventilation and aerodynamics and noise production. This helmet is epic. All of Shoei's arrows have always been absolutely amazing. You get out behind the bubble, there's no lift on this helmet. There's very little drag. Ventilation from this was amazing, significantly, I would say, better than the X14, while keeping its noise production very low. This helmet offers seven intake vents that are switchable, six exhaust vents, which are fixed. Part of that system is cheek pad ventilation, and you can notice the ventilation and cooling in that area. It really provides a very pleasant experience for the user, right? We had a lot of comfort right out of the box. It broke in over the three days and it just became perfect for me. We detail more on interior head shape and sizing as we get uh, into that full review of the helmet. This is just about the experience and do I think it's worth it. Having ridden in pretty much all the premium stuff over an extended period of time, I got to tell you, this is now my new favorite. It's hard to go wrong with a Shoei. They're class leading when it comes to engineering and the fine details in manufacturing. When you compare a Shoei to its direct competitors in this class, you're going to find just that last little bit of fit and finish where they just really, they're just a little bit above the rest, right? It, it, we're not talking miles here. We're talking just millimeters, but they're just a little bit better. One of the things that we see as a retailer with Shoei that I find very interesting is the amount of replacement interior parts that we sell for Shoei helmets. And I'm talking for old Shoei helmets that have been discontinued and they're still bringing the replacement cheek pads and top pads and, you know, D-ring uh, uh, chin strap covers in. That's because people keep these things for a long time arguably longer than maybe they should, but they last and perform very well that long and that 
that data that we have by just selling the replacement parts, it's more than all the other brands and it's like head and shoulders more. That just tells me that people are keeping these things for a long time because they love the performance and they're happy with the overall quality. My two cents here is this. I love it. I think you're going to love it. It's hard to go wrong with a showy. This is money well spent. Next up, you're going to find out what Max feels about the all new X15. So now it's time for the real racer to talk about the X15. So I've honestly been using this helmet um, since last year at Barber um, when, you know, we were first able to get our eyes on them. And this has been my favorite helmet overall, you know. Uh, honestly, it looks super sweet, just kind of the whole GP style look. Um, and also, my favorite part is probably the front vent, of course, the, uh, the performance of it, but it also looks pretty sweet too. Um, one of the first things that I really like about it is, um, you know, with any helmet that has the clip up visor or flip up on the side, it's, it can be a little bit difficult to grab sometimes. And with, you know, how the RF 1400 has, which they transferred it now over to the X15, it has it up in the front. So after a race or when you're sitting on the starting grid and you want to lift it up, it makes it really easy. Um, of course, the ven ventilation on this helmet is superior like no other. Like no other. Um, of course, two, uh, the one, one vent on the top, two on the sides, and then you have ventilation flowing through the back of the shell. And like I said earlier, of course, uh, this top vent uh, up and down, or you know what I mean, the two on the front. So when I first tried this helmet on, it was insanely light, felt like kind of like no other helmet I've ever worn before. Um, and then another thing is how quiet it is. Uh, it's honestly noticeable. So if you were to put the X14 on and then the X15 on, right in between one another, the X15 is definitely much quieter. And that's always a plus side when you're out on the racetrack too, because me, I do not like to use um, earplugs at all. Uh, they just make, I don't know, it's it's kind of odd when you open your mouth and you can hear the bikes, and when you close your mouth, you can't hear them. It just doesn't really make much sense. Um, so this, I mean, I, I'll probably still be able to hear at the age of 30 with this helmet, so I do appreciate Shoei for uh, working hard on that. Um, and another thing is the field of vision. So peripheral vision is around the same, if not a little bit better than the X14. But... Um, for the field of vision, so basically from the top of the visor to the bottom, I feel like I'm able to see um, double. Um, with the X14, I did have some trouble when I would get into my tuck position. Um, when I look up, you know, because I do have a pretty solid tuck, um, and for some reason my visor would kind of, uh, when my chin would hit the tank, my the top of my head would kind of slide up in the helmet, and my eyes, you know, would be kind of hard to see out of the top. But with this X15, I do not have that issue whatsoever. So this helmet is honestly, like I, I do work here at SCG and I've tried every helmet on that you can think of. And this one has been honestly, like I said, best one overall, showy. You guys came out with a great product once again. You guys killed it. So I recommend uh, this helmet to all you racers and even track day riders, street riders, if you're looking for the best performance in any race helmet uh, overall. So again, showy, great job. I recommend this to all you customers.